Hi everyone, it's Ray. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while, but I've just been like going through a lot and maybe I'll talk about that like another vlog somewhere down the road. Um, but you know, it's really beautiful here in Minnesota. It's like 60 degrees. I'm super excited. Like I have been really pale. The lighting in this room is really bad so you can't tell, but like I'm really pale and like light. Um, I'm super excited to get like my dark chocolate back. Um, but I like wanted to like take a moment to talk about something that I have been like deeply concerned with in the last few weeks. Um, it's about like the hoteps of the world and like I like to call them homie hoteps and my best friend today was like wait who what homie hotep and I was like it is the homie who comes up with some hotep bs when you talking and like you just like miss me with that. So for those of you who don't know hotep is like talking about like black men who were like tend to be like black nationalists um in like a very true form of that in that they're like super pro-black but super misogynistic and like really rude to black women and like are here for like liberation of black men and like liberation of black men only and they like recognize they don't recognize like black women have issues and black women have struggles and black women are like everything that they're complaining about like black women also go through in like different ways um and we're not even talking about trans folks right we're like we're still like in this cisgendered like normative bubble um and homie hoteps just bother me for so for so many reasons um mainly because they're just like all wrong and like sometimes i just look at them i'm like listen bro i'm gonna need you to like sit there in your wrongness and sit far away from me so i am like really happy because like last last friday was blackout right like blackout day right and there's just like all these black folks like being like super happy and like super satisfied to be black and like they're like flooding the internet with black black photos and like my timeline on Facebook, my like Twitter feed, my Tumblr feed was just like black folks everywhere. And I was like, yes, like this is what I'm here for. Like black people being beautiful and like acknowledging their beauty and like not caring about like people who don't want to acknowledge their beauty. So I was having like this beautiful beautiful experience and then I post I was posting photos of myself with like other famous black folks and one of them happened to be Lauren Cox so I post my selfie with Lauren Cox and like glorify this melanin and Lauren Cox retweeted me so like there was me and Lauren Cox like hanging out on her Facebook page and I was like what Laverne, me, little love me. Ah, oh, I love you, Laverne. I love you, Poo Poo. So I'm super excited. I'm having this great, this great day because like, here I am retweeted by Laverne Cox. Black people are like on my Tumblr and my Twitter and my Facebook and like, bam, like there's like beautiful black hairstyles, different shades of chocolate and mocha. I was like, yes, like yes, praise Jesus, right? So then, like, I started thinking about, like, what does it mean to, like, truly support, like, black folks, right? Because, like, I think there's, like, this big moment of, like, black bodies supporting other black bodies. So I was, like, thinking to myself about, like, how have I not supported black folks? I think of this one black woman who, like, had some, like, who has some bad politics. Like, I'll, I'll call her on that and I tell her to her face, like, your politics kind of suck. And by that, I mean, when I met her, like, she was cool, but then we talked about politics and she was like, I just... I just don't see race. And I was like, ooh, 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 get thee away from me, Satan. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, boo boo. Uh uh, go that way. And then I just like really stopped supporting her as a black woman because I was like, you have bad politics. And I was like, and then Donnie was like, no, but she's still a black woman. And like, as, as a black body, I should be supporting this black woman, right? So I was like thinking to myself, I was having this revelation. And I was like, we don't have to have the same politics. As long as like you were not oppressing my body in any way, I'ma support you because it is important for me that you succeed in your version of success in white supremacy, the same way that I would succeed in my version of success. So let me support you. So I'm having this great moment of like, bam, I'm about to support black folks, even when they be saying some stupid ass shit, like I'm here for black folks. So I'm feeling great and I wake up and I go on Facebook and my friend has this video of like why black men date white women and it's by a white woman. So I was like, oh no. Now she's a black woman. So she's like, 
she's like really critiquing it um but i was like see there's gonna be some black dudes on here that's about to like say some stuff sure enough the first comment is like it's true and i was like mm. and like what this white woman is saying is like black women don't listen to their men they don't take care of their men they like don't know how to be at home and they're ratchet yeah like, yada 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 like all these stereotypes of black women and i was like mm, you know as someone who was raised by a black woman and raised by like several black women um that's really not my like understanding of black women in relationships because like i think my mother bent over backwards to take care of like the my my father and my stepfather and my two brothers <laughs> um i think my mother bent over backwards to make sure she could pay her bills and still be there for her children like so mm -mm, like miss me white girl so then, like, these, there's, like, black men, like, co-signing this video. And I was like, oh, God, no. And I just, I wasn't going to say anything. Because I was like, I'm not here to get an argument with, like, this ignorance. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I got better things to do on this beautiful Saturday. But it was, like, it was, like, 40. I was like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I got beautiful things to do with my day than get in ar an argument with you. So, like, I'm going to just roll out. But then I go back to the, the thing and this black dude came out of nowhere with like the best response I have ever seen. He was like, I wonder how many black women she has dated to get this opinion. And this other dude was like, nah, but she's dated brothers and like she's probably dated enough brothers to like talk about like their experience and like that's what she's basing this in. And my first thought was like, we're not going to complicate this white woman like fantasy black men. All right, whatever you do you. But then this dude comes back, the dude who like made the comment about like how many black women she dated came back and was like, yeah, see, I'm gonna go with those are some bitter niggas that were in failed relationships. And I was like, homie, we here, like, yes, yes. And like what he was really, like what he was saying, like he continued throughout this thread, what he was saying was like, black, as black men, like we can't be putting down our sisters. Like, no, like, uh-uh, like you need to uplift black women, like at all costs. So he's saying this and like, I'm just like, I'm just like, yes, like, yes, preach. And then homie Hotep comes up in this and was like, see, the problem with the black community is that black women are too concerned with being independent and they're not thinking about how to take care of their family. And I was like, no, the problem with the black community is systematic racism and ashiness. So get out of my face with that, right? And then he was like, he was like, we as a community really need to get that. I was like, I don't need to get together for nothing. Like you as a black man, need to stop thinking that you are something special and that like black women just need to be praising you and be happy with all the shit you'll be doing. Like, he, then he goes in, like, all this, like, black women are, like, trying to put constraints on black men. I was like, I don't know any woman that, I mean, that I would involve my, like, as someone who dates women, that I would involve myself with either that has no standards for the people they date. Like, I don't, I don't, and I don't understand the point to that. So, like, his constraints were that black women wanted to be respected, Right. And something that my black mother has taught me that no one else has taught me this well is that I am excellent and you need to respect me to be in my presence. And if you cannot respect me, we don't need to talk. We have no dealings like right. Like you respect me because I am excellent and it is a privilege for you to be in my space. And if you can't, then we don't need to share space together. And this homeboy was not here for that. I was like, homie Hotep, I'm gonna need you to stop saying that black women just need to praise black men. When black men, some of y'all be doing women wrong. Like, he was all like, black women just need to like understand like this, the plight of the black male. I was like, I can understand that like cops be trying to shoot you. But I can't understand you thinking that like a black woman needs to be okay with you fucking other women while you're in a committed relationship. That's not the plight of a black man. That's the plight of a weak dude who's trying to like make a politic behind some bad ass life choices. Get out of my face. So then I was like, you know what, homie Hotep, I'm not here for you. Like I'm really not. So I'm just gonna leave because you just on some like nonsense. So nonsense. So I leave Homie Hotep alone. I carry on. 
And then yesterday, there's this beautiful panel of black women. Um, one of them being Brittany Cooper, who is like this beautiful, intelligent, so like poignant scholar who just be saying some bomb things, right? And she says it in this way that's like, I like to call it like hood feminism because she's just like, miss me. Like she talks in like this very like hood, like, oh my God, like seeing her on a panel was like, if you were to put like hair dryers over them, like it would take me back to childhood of like getting my hair done. Like that's how I feel when like she's speaking. And like, I don't want to ever, and I'm not saying that like, what she's doing is not intellectual work or in production of knowledge. It's just in a way that like is so relatable to like the everyday black person who's not stuck in classrooms learning fancy language to talk about oppression, right? So Brittany Cooper's on this panel and like it's a panel of five beautiful black women. Like, and I don't mean like they're cute. I mean like the way they speak is just beautiful. I'm like, oh yes, speak more black women. So, they're like talking about all these different things. They're they're talking about like pop culture. So they're talking about like black women in TV, right? Like they're they're all dre they're dressing um, like Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder, Empire, and being Mary Jane. And they all actually like don't like Mary Jane. And I was just like, y'all, mm, that's my joint. That's my joint. They had like a lot of things to say. That was like, mm, I love that show. Whatever. We can hate on Mary Jane, but that show's bomb. So. So these, there's these five black women and like I'm gonna put their names like in the con like in the like little like description section so you can guys can actually go check them out. But I really just wanna focus on Brittany Cooper and like her response to Homie Hotel. So there's this conversation happening, like they're asking questions and this dude he gets up and he like pokes out his like his chest and he's like walking over to the mic and I looked and I was like, that's about to be it. And then he trips he trips over my backpack. And he looks at me and goes, my bad sis. And I was like, that's Tommy Hotep. I can already tell that's Tommy Hotep. So like at the point of him entering, like him walking up to the mic, there's this conversation happening between like the five black panelists and a black woman who's having this, like they're having a conversation back that like started as a question, but like this black woman's like actually like, well, can I like ask you like a follow-up question? So he sits next to this black woman, preventing her from getting up to the mic again. Cause like it's his turn now. And... He spends four minutes asking a question. And like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I want to tell this to everyone. If you were about to ask a question that could potentially be racist, sexist, transphobic, can you just make it quick? Can you make your question like 10 seconds, right? Like I'd rather people just come out with their racist question so I could say no and move on like that could have been like his whole exchange could have been a minute instead it ended up being like 10 because he wants to like give justification of why he's about to ask his sexist ass question no don't give me a justification just ask a question because it's not going to stop you from asking me the question that you know is kind of sexist and you think like this might be perceived as sexist because it is sexist so just be quick about your sexist racist classist transphobic question like don't draw it out just like so we can just move on. Like, I don't have to waste my time and energy on that. And like, I feel like when I'm sitting in a room and there's a panel and like people do I'm just like, bruh, you can make your racist question, your sexist question in like 10 seconds, do that. Homie, homie hotel goes on for like four minutes. And what the, look, the four, like the four points, all well, the three points, I'll, the three important points that he's asking of this all black woman panel is, one, don't you think that like the black women who are writing these shows are doing to black men the way that hip hop does black women? And I was like, um, okay. Two, why don't we have like a black network and then like we are controlling things and like wouldn't that make things better? Three, like, how are you going to talk about representation if like we're not writing our own storylines? And I was like, hmm, you're talking about how to get away with murder, empire, scandal, and being Mary Jane. All written by black folks. Three of them written by black women. Interesting. Um, so, Two panelists respond, um, you know, like Yabba Blay, who's on this panel, comes in with this, like, we need to think about what this we is because, like, 
just because like black people are controlling things that doesn't mean that our narratives will be different that doesn't mean that there'll be more like they'll have like more character death or like they won't be like stereotypes right um and like the other the other three panelists like really like risk like the there's Jebe Bay, then three other panelists, so Trivia, Joan, and Nakia respond, and like they're they're like kind of along the same lines. Brittany Cooper, though, she was like, so the minute he got to the mic and started his nonsense, Brittany's face was like, and I was like, oh, she about to get, she about to read him. So in my mind, while she is speaking, I hear this undertone of zebra cats. That's, you know that part where he's like, I'm going to read this bitch. I'm going to write a dissertation to excuse my ish. That is exactly how Brittany responded. Because she wrote a dissertation. And then she like laid it out for him. So she was like, one, like, you know, looking at statistics. Like, when we're talking about like black media, like, Black folks just don't have the wealth, like here, like the statistics of like black wealth. Like, I don't think we can pull our money together and have like a network. Um, and then she's like, but let me be real with you. Like, how are we, like, what is this we? Cause it sounds like you want this we to be black men, but black women are writing. Like you want more? Because black women, you want something different because black women are showing us what we can have. Like black women are like pulling the reins. It's like, we can have TV shows. We can have narratives about black bodies. We can have narratives of black women having sex on TV. We can have narratives of black women making decisions and being powerful. We can have narratives of black women who just are a hot mess and like fulfill so many stereotypes and is on respectable politics, but we still love it. So like, we can have these narratives. And I'm just like, I love you, Bernie. And then she looks at Homie Hotep and she says to him, you need to recognize the work that black women are doing. And that's why you are asking me this question because you don't recognize what black women are doing. So I will see your question when you see the labor of black women. And she said it with like fingers pointing, like you know the way your mama about to yell at you like right before you get beat, like, Ooh, that's what she was like. I will see that question when you see the work of black women. And I was like, thank you, sister. Thank you. Because homie ho taps just need to disappear. Like you need to get out of my face talking about some we. No, 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 no. You are saying black men need to control things. Black women are doing a lot right now. It's just not you doing it. So don't come at any black woman talking about some we. And like, for those of you who don't know, I definitely align myself with like black feminism and black women. Like there are moments where I'm definitely read as a woman. There are some moments where I'm read as a man, which is like very, very, very interesting. AKA normally it's by cops. Um, it's, so like, I think a lot about like what it means to be like trans and like non-binary. And like, when I think of we as black women, like I definitely like put myself in that category. Like I've moved as a woman for 20 years. So I'm like, I'm gonna be like, mm, Homie ho taps. Don't come at black women and don't come at like non, like black people that aren't men, right? Don't come at black people that aren't men to support you when we aren't supporting, like when you don't turn around and support us, right? Like in this moment, like black men could be like cheering on Shonda, but here this dude is like, Shonda's ruining the black male character. Miss me. You see that? You see, this is you. I want you to do this, whoosh, miss me, because that is some BS. And like, you can't recognize that black women, black non-binary folks, and black trans folks don't need to necessarily represent you when you don't represent us. Like, you don't care about us, but you want us to care about you being uplifted. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So, um, this video is running long, so I'm about to like end it here. Black hoteps, stop, just, just stop because I'm here to celebrate and recognize and like stand in solidarity with other black folks. But for me to stand in solidarity with you, you need to stand in solidarity with me. And if you can't, if you cannot glorify the melanin that comes in anybody, right? Like whether it's a black woman, whether it's trans folk, whether it's non binary folk, like if you cannot glorify our melanin too, I don't need you. So go back on your Twitter account 
and stay out of my life. That's all I'm saying. And with that, I hope you all have a lovely weekend.